After making my initial video about the Royal Academy of Art in Stockholm, I decided to go back for a closer visit since this is where Zorn actually studied art. And I visited the exhibition again with Daniel Graves, the founder of the Florence Academy of Art, and former instructor Joachim Eriksson. We had a look at uh, the Zorn paintings that were there on display, including the Coquilin Cadet, um, this painting here, and Daniel pointed out how high-keyed the flesh tones were. It's hard to see them here, but the face is incredibly bright, and this is true in a lot of Zorn paintings, and how everything else just sort of falls away. Um, Daniel pointed out also, uh, he's great to visit a museum with a uh, wealth of information, but he pointed out how, how you always know where to look in a Zorn painting and everything else kind of falls away. Um, all the lines, the contrast in the focal areas is really uh, outstanding. In this little painting here, it's called The Little Brewery, and Daniel pointed out that Zorn's father was a brewer, his mother worked in a brewery, and so he had first-hand knowledge but then we got to talking about it, and Joachim pointed out how brilliant he is at composition. You know exactly where to look. You know the painting is about that woman. In contrast to the Harriet Becker, which uh, hangs directly above the Zorn, it, it's a little bit, you, you don't quite know what's going on. You don't know quite where to look. The composition is a little bit awkward, a little bit square in comparison with the Zorn painting. And it's interesting to see them hanging, hanging that way, but I think that it really brings out Zorn's brilliance of composition the uh the the feel of the room the the sounds are seem seem very uh very crisp and Joachim pointed out the noise of the bottles in the lower right hand corner as we as we turn to the self portrait which is an amazing self portrait this this sleeve here in the hand is very very rough, uh, the sleeve being very abstract in a way, but yet functioning in the whole of the painting. Again, you know exactly where to look. Here, the, the face of Zorn, the, the contrast in the, of the collar compared to the fuzziness of the legs in the background um, is just... Well, Joachim, he had a great story about the model. Apparently, she was an Italian model with bright red hair, and it said Zorn intended it to be a self-portrait, she kept taking over the painting, and so in the end he ended up pushing her farther and farther back into the shadows so that she didn't completely take over take over the painting. So that was a very interesting visit, and I thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching Elephant, and I appreciate your patronage.